Hi, welcome to the workshop. I'm Mitch and today I've got a review for you. Workshop Heaven in the UK have sent me this Crangshane Luban number 43 plough plane with kerfing attachment to do a review on. So, let's get started. So what comes in the box? Well of course there's the main plough body, the fence arms fence, and it's got a lovely rosewood fence attachment on there. Also comes with, and I've got it installed at the moment, a kerfing blade. That's just attached by a couple of screws. It's very quick to remove. And you can see how useful the kerfing saw attachment is. My video on uh, kerfing saws, you'll find a little link here. Now when you're using the plane as a plough, we can put in the um, depth stop. There's a good range of cutters. I'll do, put a little list up for you so you know it. And they come pretty well sharpened actually. You could do with a little bit of a strop before use, but I was quite, uh, quite pleased with the way they came. So that just does up like so. Depth set is purely um, manual here. There's no screw advance or retract. But uh, once you get used to it, you can adjust it quite quickly. And obviously once you set up, you don't need to change it unless you change cutters. There's a decent uh, rosewood fence that's been added onto the, the metal fence here, which if necessary can be easily removed with a couple of screws. And there are occasions where you would want to remove that. The fence closes right up on the skate, no problem at all. So the tolerances are, are good enough for that. Slides out and gives you I think that's just over four inches of width. Uh, there's a recess in the fence here to allow shavings to escape quite easily. All the screw locations are quite well placed so as not to get in the way when you're using the plane. Uh, the plane body itself is cast in stainless steel so you've got no problems with uh, corrosion there. And generally, good look over it. It looks to be well cast, well finished, well machined. No obvious problems there. So, let's give it a quick whirl. So I'm just going to run a, uh, a quarter of an inch slot on this piece of scrap. Could be a, a groove for a drawer bottom or something like that, or a cabinet back. So I have a quarter inch cutter engaged. I'm just going to check the depth of cut. Probably a little bit, uh, a little bit too much. Let me just clean this up first. So I'll set my cutter where I want it um, with reference to the edge of the work. Move the fence up, make sure everything's locked down. I'll start near the end of the work. It's got a lovely handle here and get three fingers through, finger forward on it just to, to balance it nicely and we can grab on the fence rails. That's cutting quite well to begin with. I haven't honed or stropped this blade That's as it comes, but um, just a cursory feeling of it and trying to cut some hairs on my arm show that it could do with a strop. But it's actually not too bad. I think you can see just how quickly we can put a groove in. There we go, perfectly clean groove, no dust in the air, cut really quick. In fact, I'll probably cut that groove quicker setting up and using this plane than I would getting my router out and using that. So to wrap it up, this is a very competent plane. I like the finish on it, I like the fit of all the components. You've got a kerfing blade, which does a great job as I've shown in, 
and a curving blade video. The cutters come uh, pretty much ready to use, they will cut straight away. You don't have to worry about corrosion because of the stainless steel body. And I think if you're an unplugged woodworker, this plane or a plane like this with these features uh, is well worth having in your arsenal. The only faults that I could possibly bring up about this plane is that the attachment for the curfing blade and its screws. Screws are slightly too long and protrude through the back of this attachment bar and the back of the attachment bar is not flat. So you can't actually use that as a fence in its own right and that would be really useful if you could. But overall I think it's a great plane. I'd give it 9 out of 10. If it had come with a nicely fitted wooden box it would have got a 10 out of 10 from me. I hope that's useful. Cheerio! For a chance to win this plane as part of my 25,000 subscriber giveaway, like the video and comment with 043 for me. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Cheerio!